Do you feel that your hand is going numb in the area of thumb, index finger and middle finger and you are wondering what is happening? If you suffer from such peripheral nerve problems, typical symptoms include tingling, numbness, prickling sensation, electric shock-like feelings in the hand, and in more advanced cases, normal sensation in the hand may begin to change. This condition is the absolute number one issue when it comes to upper nerve entrapment. And in this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know to find relief for this condition. Let's start with the anatomy. Why, you may ask. Well, understanding the nerve pathway and any structures that might put pressure on it can help us to gasp the overall picture and possible contribute to the upper limb symptoms. The nerve starts its journey from the 6th, 7th, 8th cervical vertebrae and the 1st thoracic vertebrae. Its role is to control the movement of the forearm, wrist, hand and fingers, as well to provide sensory information to the visible areas. The nerve travels from our cervical and thoracic structures downwards towards the armpit. From there it continues along the inner surface of the upper arm to elbow area. In the forearm the nerve descends more towards the wrist area passing underneath transverse tendon bundle and it's branching out in the area of thumb, index finger and middle finger. If you don't have any injuries in the upper arm, it's essential to carefully examine the structures in the inner side of the forearm. If you find extremely tender structures or if pressing of them reproduce your familiar symptoms into the hand, then it's advisable to relax these areas with the light massage. If your wrist mobility is severely limited, gentle stretching might be helpful as well. Here is a handy stretch to easily stretch both upper limbs. Remember not to experience a pain during the movement. If you do, you are stretching the structure too aggressively. The intensity of the external rotation will affect the stretch. To test difference in nerve gliding between the affected and unaffected side, do the following. Gently press the shoulder down. Abduct the upper arm to 90 degrees angle. Perform external rotation towards the ceiling with the upper arm. Rotate the forearm into external rotation with the palm facing to the head. Bend the wrist downwards and try to keep your fingers straight. Extend the elbow until the symptoms are provocated. In this position you can experiment with the side bending of the head towards the hand to see if it affects upper limb symptoms. In some cases, side bending away from the hand may provocate the symptoms. Additionally, you can explore how different wrist position can affect the sensations in the arm. After testing both sides, if there is a clear asymmetry present, the goal should be to achieve the symmetry in nerve gliding, meaning that both nerves should slide in the same manner. After the treatment and the stretches, you can retest and see how the asymmetry has improved. For the light nerve gliding, follow these steps. Imagine the nerve movement within the structures with this band. When you move your hand in the stretched position at side bending to the head towards the hand. This is relatively safe, but if you need more aggressive stretch, take the nerve to tighten it position and push through with the wrist, elbow or head for a minute. Focus on the movement that clearly intensify your familiar symptoms. If any of those movements doesn't reproduce your typical symptoms, then avoid doing them. Perform nerve gliding in few minute sessions, spreading them through the day, three or four sets. Additionally, if needed, apply soft tissue management for the duration of your favorite song and follow up with the gentle pain-free stretches if there is a significant restriction. If these instructions were not sufficient to elevate your typical symptoms, then I recommend seeking help from the doctor or skilled physiotherapist. If you want to learn about four most common pain mechanisms, you can find the video topic in here. And here you can access the playlist of the health-related videos. See you at the next one.